Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill, and this is Roadkill Ranch on No Man's Land, Episode 3. And we are just finishing up where we left off on our big field. We're planting canola. And there we go. That feels good. We're going to plant canola on all but one field. I think we're going to we're going to plant one field of wheat. I'm getting used to using the GPS. This is the second soybean field. I will learn to turn off my GPS lines a little bit later, I hope. Okay, we are now working on the fields on the south side of the farm. This is where we widen the field out a little bit, right there up by the tree line. I also did a little bit of work on the left side here where that cement pad came out a little bit too far in our field. But the borders on this map are a little goofy on multiplayer and neither one of us can alter the ground between us. So it's just going to have to stay there that way. We can creep across and harvest or plow, but we cannot paint or landscape between our properties. Get these little pieces that I missed. Hit a tree, of course. And I want to say it's about here that I realized I wanted to put wheat down in one of these fields. Oh well, we're going to do the whole thing in canola. I think I got kind of excited thinking I could jump all the way from one field to the other planting. And I just kept right on going. But that's okay. The chickens are not eating that much wheat. We bought a second box of wheat and put it into the silo. And I doubt we get into it in the second or third year. Not unless the chickens start breeding a little faster, but... I wanted to see how long it would take if we just put one rooster in and six hens to start with. Well, it's a little bit different plowing two fields together. Kind of funny feeling. But we're getting it. I did end up taking out the... What I will call the lookout... Forestry lookout. Could also be called a hunting stand. That was along the edge of this field. And I had a real problem staying on track on this edge. My GPS was just a little off. Get 
give it a couple headlands there so we'll have room to turn around and now we can go back to the up and down stripes our area of the world is turning green I really like using this Lemkin. I like the idea of using a cultivator and then you can fertilize and then when you seed you can fertilize again and that way you can get multiple fertilizations in your planting. One more pass. And we now have four fields all done up in canola. And we can turn this cedar in, get it unloaded. And there we go. Oh, just under the next fee. There we go. And the map shows that it's all in canola, in green, and yellow as in planted. Now we need to fertilize. We can get it all to the third stage. Most of it to the third stage. But at this point, I need to take a break and do some in real life activities. So I will have to come back. The world will continue to move without us. And when we come back, we'll be able to start fertilizing. And we're back. It is five hours later in real life but it is 7.52 in the morning the next day in game. We do have fast nights at 2100 hours. It goes 120 times speed until 6 a.m. That's a pretty sight seeing all the field planted. Planted with winter canola. Okay, we need fertilizer spreader. I don't know what I did there. Machine gun trigger, I guess. And we need to go get some fertilizer. Um, but we're not going to get very much. We're out of money again. So, you know what that means. Let me leave this parked over here. We'll grab our lift. And we'll grab our trailer. And yep. I think it is deforestation time. We're going to cut down some more trees and get a little bit more money. We're headed back to the same little clump of trees that we were in before. We are looking for those tall trees right there. They will give us the most money. The trees are all the same. 
to some degree. Uh, there's different heights of the large tree just because some of them are buried deeper. But we are looking for... So oh! Alright. I evidently cut down some trees and then never hauled them away. So that will make things a little easier. All I have to do is round up these trees that I already cut down. And I have something special planned for this clearing that I'm making in the center of this little forest. But that will come a little bit later. You have seen me work with trees on other videos so I am going to cut away and get all of these logs picked up and when we are in a better money situation I'll be back We are all loaded up and ready to go to the lumber mill. And I have to be careful because I have tipped my trailer over in the past. And it is not fun trying to get it righted up again. I do like his snaky little road here along the fields, but I think there needs to be a little more grass on the side so that you don't accidentally drive into the field because of lag. And when I placed this sheep pen I made the ground go down just a little bit and I added that little angle there. Kind of upsets me. And we'll sneak through here and get out to the main road. And, oh, that was a little too fast, too tight. We'll watch from above. Hey, my neighbor Gizmo has done some bailing. Those round green bales are his. It is quiet on the server right now. I do believe I am the only one on. And some more bales. Gizmo owns the lot going up and around on the west side of us. And some more bales. His home place is to the left there. And we're coming up to his solar panel array. Kind of a neat little thing he built there. We don't know what he's doing with this square right here. Some more bales. And the town looks wonderful. Thank you, Jim, for those addition of the cars. The guys are having fun placing more objects in town and around the countryside. I'm going to let them do that because I'm the new guy on the block. And we still don't know what Raznak's going to build in that empty lot there. But we're here now at the lumber mill. Let's get out and see how much money we can make. $14,000. That's not too bad. I think that's enough to get us some tight corner there. That's enough to get us some fertilizer. And I would think enough to do all of the fields at least once. We'll find out. But I will see you back at the farm.
forestry trailer is off, fertilizer spreader is on, and we are headed back into town. We do not have a buy point or drop off point for fertilizer at our farm. Might be something we'll add in the future, but town's not that far away and it doesn't go that fast, so it's not really a hardship. Gizmo planted all these trees on the right side and they're starting to grow up. They do have accelerated tree growth on this map. I'm not exactly sure how fast it is accelerated, but we should be able to watch them grow anyway. All right, we are going to buy fertilizer. At the left here is the garden center. It's the second one. Right there. Fill me up. Be gentle on the checkbook. Hey, we filled it up. Not quite $10,000. But that should last us for quite a while. Our neighbor Gizmo has a pig operation up here, and I believe that is his pig food mixing station on the right. We will have to... We'll have to do a tour here in the future and visit our neighbors. All right, we might as well start on this field right here. I am not used to this spreader. We're going to have to figure out how wide it goes. I think it goes wider than this. Sorry about that. Time has moved forward. I had an in real life situation to take care of there, but we are back. And we're going to see how we can do here with the fertilizer spreader. And I knew I wasn't over far enough. Let's get over to about here and tell it a new starting point. That looks better. Let's give it a try. there we have it all done fertilizing we'll have a few little spots but 
that is pretty much three layers fertilizer on all the fields. Well, let's take a look. Yep, all dark blue. Missed a little spot there. Got it to come back there and right there. All the spots that we enlarged the field. But winter canola is planted. And there's what the map looks like right now. I decided to do a little bit of weed cleanup and fixed a little grass there. I don't like these bushes. We take better care of our farm than that. And especially around the house, we need to get rid of these scraggly old weed bush things. Got to get the camera angle just right there. And we'll put a little grass back. And let's add some things. Every house needs a garden shed. Tuck it in the corner here. Get her right up next to the side. That looks good. And we need a grill. Oh, every house needs a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Right there is a perfect spot. Look at there, add some color. All right, now for the grill. Looks like a spot right here. Um, unless I want it closer to the door. I always want my grill closer to the door because if it's raining and you want a grill, you gotta run. Here we go. And now we need some lighting. Ooh, that's a little guy. Little solar light. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, these things are tiny. I hope they put off some light. There we go. Let's put three on this side. And four on this side. There we go. And we need a mailbox. It's here somewhere. Ooh. We need a picnic table at the house. Right in the middle. That looks good. Okay. Where's the mailbox? There we go. Roadkill Ranch with a pink mailbox. Flags up, must have mail in it. Alrighty. It is the next day, nine in the morning-ish. Last day of autumn. Winter will begin tomorrow. And we've been a little busy. There are a few subtle changes around the farm, but there's one big change, which you will see shortly. You can see the roof line of it. There's our beautiful pink, back up here, pink's mailbox with a sign, Roadkill Ranch. And there it is. 
we have a new horse stables. It fit perfect right next to the house here. It doesn't look too bad. It's bricked like the house. Compact. Come on, door. I kind of like it. And we have a trailer with two horses. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, well. Trust me, I have two horses. Let's get them inside the stable. Gulliver and Lucky. And, oh boy. That's going to be a problem. Give him some water. They're glitching already. They're going to get stuck. Give them a little straw. And I knew that wasn't going to work. I need a straw grinder. Yep, they're stuck. We'll leave that right there for now. Light switch. Ah, there we go. Look at there. Yeah, they're not moving. I can't get on him. There we go. Alright, I can get on him. And I get off, and he's right back in the doorway again. And he's stuck. See if I turn him around. There we go, got him free. But he can't go through the door, because the other horse is stuck in the door. And he's back in the corner. Riding horses is fun. You stay there. And of course, now he is stuck. Can't get him to go anywhere. So this pen is being a pain, but we're going to load it up. Maybe when I get some more horses in there, it'll be better. Oops. The trigger goes in the same box that the straw went in. Well, that didn't take much. I guess there's only two horses. And some hay. Didn't take much of that either. Let's put that back inside. And we are off to town at 12 miles an hour to get a bale grinder. And 
this will work. Our horse is still standing there. I thought he would have popped back into the corral. Yep, the trigger starts clear back there, goes clear up to here, but not to that one. So. That's it. Yep, straw on the floor. And he's still stuck. That's annoying. I'm going to try something here. If we take Gulliver out and then put him back. Maybe that'll free him up. There we go. He's walking around. He's happy. He's not stuck. Lucky still standing over there. Okay, you didn't want to see me run the horse into the tree, so I blurred that out. I think I saw that Jamberry was on the server. So let's race over here and see if we can see him. Well, I don't see him anywhere. He's not here. Let's snoop. That's his seed cleaner. Oh, he's got some big equipment. All right. Well, he must have hopped off. I don't see him now. This is Raznak's place over here. Oh, hey, there's Jamberry. I don't think he saw us. Looks to me like he's got the semi truck following him. I'm going to have to learn how to do that, too. Oh my, I can't keep up with him. He's Oh, he's going faster than me. He's got places to be. Alright, well, Gulliver's ready to go home, so... Let's cut through here. Daily writing is up to a hundred.
There we go, Gulliver. We're home. Just so he doesn't glitch again in there. He's got a new spot to stand. Brush him up here a little bit. It does sound like he's glitching though. Alright, let's take Lucky and see if we can't go find Jamberry. We'll go around the pond this way. Yikes. He has a little BGA here. Oh, there he is. Hey, he saw us. Showing off our skills here. Oh, he's coming this way. Gotta get out of the way, Lucky. See if he sells any manure. Ooh, all right. Our bucket holds 2,000 liters, so he'll probably have to figure it out and get back to me. He probably sells it by the trailer load. Eighty dollars, that's cheap. I'll have to buy some from him. I do believe that would be called a business deal done at a tailgate. Lucky is almost ready to be done. And we can put him away and brush him down. And he's back in his corner again. Hopefully he doesn't glitch. Well, I do believe it's time to go get six more horses. We're going to fill this stable up so we can make some money. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to run into town three more times. And I'll see you when the stable is full. Well, I could have swore I hit record, but I didn't. So, we are waiting to see how much money we make at midnight. Well, that's not very good. I rode all eight horses, 
and we made one thousand five hundred forty dollars not a money maker well it is seven o'clock in the morning first day of winter it is very dark so I'll make this brief I'm out riding my horses first thing in the morning so I could be ready for the day so I'll see you in a little bit we are at our neighbor gizmos he's not here I don't think so we're gonna snoop he has his harvester down here Ooh, he's got an old clunker harvester Ooh, he's got quite the bale collection over there and I think that's his pig mix pig feed mixer come up the hill here and that's where he's got his pigs oh he's got the same trailer we've got what's this building oh more bales that's kind of a neat building it holds all three kinds straw grinder oh wait a minute this is his pig food mixer that's potatoes in the middle Let's check out what he's got in his silo oh he's got another storage over here and there wow he's got a lot of things there's the house and garage a little garden up here lemons sorry about running through your winter wheat there gizmo you got a building down here let's see what it is Ooh, he's got a lumber rack or a log rack doesn't look like any logging equipment is at home it must be busy somewhere Well, we're going to cut through the trees here and head home. These are our crops, so we don't have to say I'm sorry to somebody. Quick little jump there. And the horses are glitching again. I can't even get on lucky now. Yeah. I don't think I like this horse stable. It may have to go. Decided we better plant some trees. We've been cutting down some trees, so we best be putting some back. And I'm up at the little timber spot up by Gizmos. And we put down eh, three and a half pallets. And we put the other pallet and a half in the far back timber. And that's all the skinny pines that don't look like these fuzzy blue spruces. Yeah, you guessed it. We're gonna do a little more deforestation, but we made a purchase. See that hill dead ahead? We now own the hill. We bought the hill. It's uh, three properties across the top up there. And we're going to take out these scraggly trees. And we are going to make this a grass area. And it is awfully steep. 
I need to think about putting in a snaky road. Ugh. It makes it easier to drive up. But this is our new acquisition here. And I'm going to start working on clearing trees. But that's going to be it for this episode. Please be sure to leave us a comment down below. And as always, a like would definitely help the channel grow. I appreciate everyone who stays and helps. Look at that view. We may have to build a house up here someday. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.